Okay, this is the lab for the Thevenin tutorial. Uh, at the end of that tutorial, we had an example uh, uh, which used two series resistors, uh, which we could use nicely as a voltage divider, and we calculated uh, using analysis the Thevenin voltage and the uh, Thevenin resistance. What we're going to do now is, like I said there, is use a kind of brute force method. We're going to pretend that we don't know that there's a series, I've used the same resistors as in the last experiment, but we're going to pretend here that we don't know anything about this. This is a black box. The only thing we know is there's an output, which is the port A here, and there's the the earth output, which we call port B, yeah? So we've got these two outputs. What I've done is I've I've wired that output so that I only have to drop in the multimeter into here and into the earth lead here, and that's going to be the same as uh, dropping the multimeter across these two leads here. Yeah? So I've set these up. So all I've got to do now is switch on the multimeter, drop the leads in there, and everything's set up. I've got six volts supply as in the experiment. I've got a six volt supply su supplying this black box. And now I'm going to just drop, switch on the voltmeter, and then drop the leads in so that we can measure the voltage. Okay, so we're seeing there 4 volts, so that means our Thevenin voltage is 4 volts. So the next thing we need is a, a short circuit current. So what I've got is I've already connected a lead that goes from this port A down to ground. Uh, and to, 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 to see that, I've got my AVO meter show, uh, to actually measure the current. So let's have a quick look at the AVO meter and I'll explain what's going on there. So let's go up to the AVO meter. So there, what we have there is we're going to measure this now. I, I'm going to set this just to give you a quick, quick uh, brief on this. The AVO meter there goes to uh, 20 microamps per division. So there's a hundred divisions here, and each little division is is 20 microamps. So um, what it's also got is a divide by two, so you can get a higher resolution. So you can bring it down to 10 microamps, so 100 divisions, and each one of those is 10 microamps, and that's what we're going to do. So when I hit this uh, button here, uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm dividing the 20 microamps per division by 2. Uh, that's, what this, uh, that's what this AVO has when you get down to these low uh, current values. They give you this uh, divide by 2 button. So when I hit that, then we're going to be able to read of the the actual current that's flowing so I'll do that now so we'll go back and I'll just modify the circuit so what we're going to do here is we don't need the voltage readout anymore so I'll switch that off and we're just going to connect up the like I can say I'm just grounding the the A port now I'm just going to ground that with this this cable here just do that right so that's grounded now, if I go back to the AVO meter, we'll be able to see the reading. So you can see the needle at the moment is here. Now, when I press the button, uh, hopefully you'll be able to pick up where the needle goes to, and then we'll read that off. That's actually reading 5 or 0.57 milliamps. So that's reading 0.57 milliamps. It's very accurate so um, we'll know that's, that is that is the current that's showing. So what I'm going to do now is we've writ I'm going to write down what I've got here. So I've already written this down so you can so I don't have to write it again. Uh, so what we've got so far is we found the uh, by you know by using the uh, brute force method we've found the Thevenin voltage which was four volts, and we found the short circuit current, which is showing there ISC equals 0.57 milliamps. Now, obviously, that enables us then just by dividing the voltage by the short circuit current to, to get our measured uh, Thevenin resistance, which is more or less 7K. So we've got our Thevenin voltage of four volts, and 
we found our Thetherman resistance to 7k and that was just measuring this as if it was a black box so now we've got those values what I'm going to do is we're going to as the same experiment now we're going to take we're going to use three values for the load resistance so we're going to stick a load resistor on there I'm going to use a decade box and they are going to be 30k, 10k and 5k just as in the tutorial and then we're going to measure the voltage this time we're not going to measure the voltage and the current we're just going to measure the voltage otherwise it'll just take too long so because we found 4 volts and Thetherden resistance of 7k the easy calculation is just to use this for the voltage so the voltage across the loads and this is before we've even connected them up we can do this quick calculation so using uh, the voltage divider formula then it's simply uh, RL over RTH at RL so RL the first one we're going to choose is 30 so we'll, we'll look at the 30 one and that turns out to be 30 obviously 30 plus 7k uh, the uh, k parts just cancel it's just a proportion yeah so uh, 37 units uh, so it's 30 units of the 37 total units dropped across the load times the voltage, source voltage, or the Thetherden voltage rather, and that gives us 3.24 volts. So that's the calculated value. And similarly for the 10K, exactly the same thing again, we end up with 2.35 volts. And finally for the 5K, I've made a mistake there. It's easy to make a mistake doing this, so it is worth doing this experiment. So uh, there's 5 over 5 add 7, which is 12 times 4 that gives you 1.67 volts so that's the calculated values so now what we're going to do is actually I, I've got the uh, a chart there left to write down the uh, the measured values so we're going to use a decade box here you can see the decade box there and this time we're just going to use the voltmeter now so uh, I'm going to set that up it, the first one is 30 so that's ready to go already I'm gonna just connect up the the decade box across the uh, the ports. So that one's going across the B port, like so. And this one goes across the A port. So now we've got a, a resistor decade box across the two ports. Uh, so now what we're going to do is is switch on the the voltmeter. So what we're going to do here is just place our voltmeter leads across ports A and B and we're measuring this first uh, load resistor of 30k so let's see what the voltage drop is across that load resistor and so I'm going to write that down as 3.28 so that's for the 30k so I'll just show you that I've written that down so we can keep that so that's our initial value there for 30k now we're gonna change the decade box so that it's showing 10 and see what the voltage says for 10 let's go the right way and the voltage for 10 is showing 2.4 so let's write that down 2.4 ah volts not k so let's just show that. So the voltage there is the first one I messed up. Okay, it's so the next one is 2.4 volts, and the 30k one was 3.28 volts. So finally, we got the 5k. Let's change the decay box to 5, and then we'll take that back. So for 5, we've got 1.71 volts. So 1.71 volts, that's for the 5. Now, so that's, that's, that's what we've done now. We've, we've done everything. Let's have a quick comparison. So the actual measured value of 3.28, now our calculation after the brute force method was 3.24. So it's 
very very similar so 3.28 so there's a slight error obviously there's some sort of res there's resistance in the avo meter there's probably uh, an internal resistance on the a slight internal resistance on the uh, the actual source voltage power supply so uh, but really that's so close i mean 1.67 1.71 so they're very close uh, and compared to the actual um initial analysis which is i've just put there in that little box there that was the that was the actual complete analysis of just using the cir circuit components you know without doing any lab so uh the actual uh, circuit analysis gave us for 30k uh 3.27 which compares to 3.28 it's very close and the 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 load resistance of 10k was 2.39 and where we got 2.4 and for 5k it was 1.71 and look we got 1.71 so uh, that proves that Thethernan that using the Thethernan strategy or method or theory is actually you know it works um, so anyway that's that uh, this lab over